It's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Two years ago, I showed you how to make a moisture mix to prevent your hair from drying out. Just keep it nice and moisturized, supple, soft, you know, overall healthy. And since then, I've got so many requests to make one without protein because I did use aloe vera juice in there. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a moisture mix that is protein free. I will start by using water and water is going to be my base. Then I will be using some vegetable glycerin along with castor oil, rose water, and some lavender essential oil. I'm going to pour all my ingredients in this spray bottle right here and also use this to apply it in my hair and mist out so nicely, which is why I love it. I will be adding a cup and a half of water. Water is very important to help absorb moisture into your hair because water is a moisturizer alone, but of course, adding more ingredients is really gonna help keep that moisture locked in your hair. Next, I'm going to use vegetable glycerin. This is really good because it helps to deeply moisturize and hydrate the hair. Also, it's a humectant, and a humectant protects to retaining or preserving moisture. Now be very careful of humectants because while they do help attract and absorb moisture in the hair, if you live in drier climates, it can pull the moisture out of your hair. Also vegetable glycerin helps to promote hair's growth, reduce scalp itching, and helps to prevent damage just because of many of the great qualities of vegetable glycerin and applying it to your hair. It just really helps to mend your hair, just to make sure that it's nice and resilient. And I put two and a half tablespoons of vegetable glycerin in the water. I added two tablespoons of rose water, and rose water helps to soften the hair, reduce dandruff, help with scalp concerns, reduces frizz, and adds shine. I just love when my hair has that nice sheen to it, looks healthy, and feels healthy overall. And I added two tablespoons of black castor oil. I love this oil because it helps to add shine, helps prevent breakage, moisturizes the skin and hair, also conditions the hair and smooth hair's cuticle. So when I say moisturizes the skin, not only for your scalp, but also the skin on the rest of your body, I actually use this moisture mix on my body and also my children's skin, and it really helped to keep our skin nice and moisturized. So castor oil has amazing benefits for your whole body. Next, I added 10 drops of lavender essential oil, and this helps to promote hair's growth. It's antimicrobial, conditions hair, adds shines, and also helps to control dandruff. This oil is amazing if you suffer from scalp conditions. Of course, consult your dermatologist. I love using lavender oil for my scalp, my hair, my body, because a lot of products that I do use for my skin do contain lavender essential oil. And here's how my moisture mix looks, and I know I see the castor oil at the top and from my last video I showed you in the beginning yes water and oil do not mix just because of water is held together by hydrogen bonds oil and fats they don't have that polar part to them so they cannot absorb in water however once I mix this and I do spray this onto my hair they will mix in my hair and they help to moisturize it so my curls they look so juicy my twists look juicy any style that I do my hair is definitely moisturized so I wanted to give you some key information here water does help absorb moisture in your hair and add in certain oils help to seal that moisture in and you can use this moisture mix as often as you want daily if necessary and I'm using my daughter's tray just to show you how the oils and liquids they come out and you can see the castor oil on the tray which lets me know that the oil is indeed coming out so I know it may be a little hard to see but trust me everything is coming out. You're gonna reap all the benefits of this moisture mix. I also sprayed this moisture mix onto my skin. So you could see, this is not water that has that sheen, but the oils because it's locking in that moisture in my skin. Because I had a good amount of this mix left over, I did apply it to my body and also my children's body and it works so well. You can really see the difference between both hands and arms. I'm telling you, this mix is very nice. It's simple to do. I love making DIYs because I can customize it. I applied more to my other arm just because I wanted to even it out and I wanted my skin to be nice and moisturized. 
And I'm also gonna show you how I apply the moisture mix in my hair because many of you commented you wish you would have saw how I actually used it. I'm just misting this right onto my twist and squeezing in because I wanted my hair to have a little bit more moisture and it didn't disrupt the integrity of my curls at all. I also applied this directly in my son's hair and he was loving it. I just love his personality and his curls. His hair is a little bit thicker than mine and his curls are tighter than mine. And we use a lot of the same ingredients and his hair just drinks it up. His hair loves all the moisture it can get. And I also applied the moisture mix in my daughter's hair. She wanted to show you her apple juice. Her curls are looser than mine and her hair is very fine, but her hair also does very well with the moisture. It's just that I have to apply this moisture mix more often, but her hair loves moisture just as much. And I put a headband on and fluffed her curls and the style came out so beautifully as always. And because many of us love making DIYs, we're just creative, I thought that I would share this online learning community, Skillshare. And Skillshare has been so kind to partner with me to sponsor this portion of the video. Skillshare is an online community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. And I have been watching so many videos because I love the way they design their classes to make it easy to follow along with. With. Different topics that interest me are freelance and entrepreneurship, web design, crafts, productivity, music, fine arts, animation, graphic design, and illustration, and there are so many more. And one class that sticks out to me is a productivity masterclass, Create a Custom System That Works, and this is by Thomas Frank. He's a YouTuber, author, and entrepreneur. By making multiple calendars within my account, giving them descriptive names like classes, campus events, exams, and work, and then making sure each of those calendars has a specific color. As a single mom of four, I definitely need some organization and productivity tips. It was so easy to follow along and I've already been incorporating many of his suggestions from the class. And this is why Skillshare is so effective. It's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you could stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. I really hope that you enjoyed making this DIY. And again, if you love making DIYs or you're just a creative in general, you will really enjoy Skillshare.